Nexons has always been part of the history of electricity. From its discovery by Edison to this new electrified world, Nexons has played a crucial role in the electrification of the world. More than ever, Nexons has to shape the new era of the planet. Between now and 2030, the demand of electricity will increase by 20%. Access to electricity is a major issue for more than one billion people in the world who still don't have it. We are leading the charge for the new world of electrification. Safer, sustainable, renewable, decarbonized and accessible to everyone. The condition for this sustainability or virtuous growth is to completely change our industrial vision. We believe the electricity will be the most important asset in the path to a carbon-free economy. To comply with the COP21 of Paris trajectory, 80% of the additional electricity generation capacity deployed will be renewable. Renewable energy requires specific geography in order to be developed. However, the consumption areas are not always close to the production area, and sometimes not even in the country of production. Consequently, the transmission system operators need to set up subsea and land interconnection between the country, what I call the energy highway. Walking the talk in energy transition means allocating investments in line with our objectives. This is the case for the significant capital investment of our Charleston U.S. facility, which has now been upgraded to the only U.S.-based high-voltage subsea cable manufacturing facility. Charleston will provide up to 1,000 kilometers of subsea high-voltage export cables to Orsted offshore wind farms in North America over the next few years. To reach carbon neutrality, Nexons is adapting all its day-to-day -day activities. In the next years, the industrial environment will upgrade by implementing Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0, what does it mean? Operationally speaking, it means data analytics, data visualization, digital cockpit, live monitoring, in other words, data-driven factory, sharing real-time information with customers and suppliers. In cable production, it means improved control of material consumption, higher accuracy of the cable lengths to produce along the chain of the manufacturing processes. Industry 4.0 brings also a new step in terms of maintenance, moving from preventive to predictive. And Industry 4.0 reduces waste and energy consumption. Therefore, it's an active agent of climate change. Nexans has disclosed its commitment to contribute to carbon neutrality by 2030. First axis, limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And to be in line with this trajectory, Nexans targets to reduce its greenhouse gas emission by an average of 4.2% per year. Nexans aims to have all production sites certified ISO 40001. All production waste is recycled and that energy efficiency solutions are deployed at all these sites. More than ever, Nexans must produce regionally, promoting territorial economies, fully assuming the role of revitalization of geographies. And that can be done if we act on the three Ps, people, planet, profit. Nexans is a key player in electrification and decarbonation, contributing to the energy transition. The coming years are a fantastic opportunity to mobilize employees for our main purpose, electrify the future.
In terms of people, this implied three main challenges for Nexus. The first one is to attract and onboard the right skill. Attracting graduate and technical expert profiles who are in a big demand in the competitive energy sector. Our second challenge is to retain and develop our employees. We do this by ensuring knowledge transfer, continuous learning and job moves. Finally, the third challenge is to foster diversity. Starting with our XCOM member, we have different types of diversity. Gender, religion, sexual orientation and five different nationalities. At Nexans, we are convinced that plural team and differences are a source of richness and performance, not only for the company, but also for employees. The company also needs a steadfast corporate governance. To support the company's strategy, Nexans has to rely on an effective set of talents and contributors. Our goal is to ensure that we maintain robust corporate governance and board practices. The Nexans board is engaged with the right priorities on the agenda. First and foremost, compliance and ethics. The effectiveness of any compliance program requires a high level commitment necessary to implement a culture of compliance from the top and create and foster a culture of ethics. We already moved to dual governance a few years ago and we strongly believe in its value. This setup allows our company and the executive management led by Chris to concentrate on what we feel are the strategic priorities and to implement the plan under the best possible conditions. To get prepared, the board is supported by four preparatory committees composed of board members, independent ones, but also the ones representing our main shareholders, I mean, Kinyanko and BPI. The group is exposed to strong megatrends, among which the increasing need for electricity and development of renewable energies. We believe that this cable industry has a responsibility in fostering sustainable electrification through innovation and decarbonization. We also introduced last year in our governance a lead independent director in accordance with the international best practices. An independent director has the freedom of judgment that is beneficial to good decision making. It is therefore essential to find the right balance and maintain a majority of independent directors while ensuring that our main shareholders and employees are well represented. At Nexans, we have a very high level of independence at over 60%. Nexons is an operational link between ideas and real life. The company focuses on being active, efficient, pragmatic. The electrification of the planet is key to sustainable balanced growth. On a bold world, equitable growth that benefit all humanity, ignoring the rich and the poor, the north and the south division. Energy not only provides access light, it also facilitates education, healthcare, women empowerment, economic development, and more. Nexans, a responsible and committed player, set up its own foundation in 2013. The main mission of the Nexans Foundation is to provide access to energy for disadvantaged communities all over the world by giving priority to grassroots level organization and sustainable solutions. Imagining, designing, manufacturing, installing a cable or creating a service is a long process, requiring a mastery and temporality quite different from the right now of the world in which we live. By a drastic simplification of our portfolio, both in terms of numbers of customers or products that we do manufacture, but also in terms of countries that we supply, we can better connect to each customer system. The coming decades are favorable to Nexans for structural, organizational and systemic reasons. Therefore, it's licensed to operate. Nexans is fully aware of this momentum. We know who we are, what we are here for, and how we want to do it. The best is yet to come. Nexans' main successes are ahead of us. I am very proud, very confident, 
because we are all animated by the same passion, the same will for performance, the same will for sustainability, the same will for innovation. We are Nexans. We electrify the future.